Hey dudes, what's up? It is day seven of my isolation. It has been a week, an entire week. What a momentous occasion. I washed my hair. I got a new dressing gown. You know, I gotta be camera ready, right? <laughs> um, yeah. You know, since my stay is here, I'm just trying to indulge it. Um, here's some things to, you know, check out in my room still. So here's the board. Um, and it tells you my nurse for the day and at night and the assistant nurse for the day and the night. So they change it up. Um, there's always a shift change because I'm here 24 hours. Um, and then this is my medical team. This is the goal sputum collection. So my stay, the, ex the length of my stay is dependent on if my sputum comes out negative and I need three negatives. Sputum is my mucus. And if it shows up negative, it means that my medication is working and it's lessening my contagion. They only collect my mucus or my loogies um, one every eight hours. Now, I didn't pass the test yesterday. So that's why I got extended for another week. <laughs> so they're gonna actually not collect my sputum until I've been taking my medication for at least seven days. That will be by Friday. And then on Saturday, they're gonna start collecting again. And then to check like maybe after seven days of medication, it will come out negative. And if I get three negatives, I get freedom. You know what freedom looks like? Freedom. Huh, freedom looks like looks like this window looks outside usually there's some people oh look there's people hi people or they're walking outside enjoying the sunlight i hear it's gonna be 80 degrees today i wouldn't know okay because i'm still in here um but you know it's fine like it gives me a lot of time yesterday i had some visitors they brought me halloween candy yay ross like one of my friends since like middle school and he gave me one Twix, which I ate and four Milky Ways. So you know that he only gave me the worst ones. It's whatever, I'm grateful. That, um, him and his girlfriend, Nadia, Nadia's cool too. They actually helped me film a taped audition. I had a taped audition, yay! So you know, you have to find a neutral background. So this was my neutral background, right? I even had a spotlight, look. This was my spotlight, just to like really ham in on the, the good lighting. And Ross like used my phone to tape me, but he was like this because he was afraid that I was gonna, you know, infect him and because I am contagious. They, Nadia and Ross were actually both wearing a mask. See, so it looks like a Donald Duck, doesn't it? And we filmed it right here. I had to hide the commode, you know, cause you don't want that in there, but I forgot to hide the TP. And when I submitted my audition tape to my, my agent, she was just like, is that, is that TP in the back? Where are you? And I had to tell her. Um, but what's behind the door? It's interesting. So the infamous commode, right? It's literally a bucket with the toilet seat, right? And somebody has to empty it because there's no flusher. So I call up my nurses and they flush it down this sink toilet. Ooh, wow, sink toilet. Like, see, look, there's water and I think there's like toilet paper in there. Basically, they dump the bucket they flush it right there, and then they use this red hose to, you know, clean my bucket. I mean, look, I can walk, I can do it myself, but I don't want to. It smells. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Like, when you eat hospital food, and then when your shit smells like hospital food, like, I don't want to associate that when I'm about to eat more hospital food, and it starts reminding me of my shit. Like, gross. I actually get really embarrassed, like, asking my nurse, because I feel like such an ass. I should do it. You know, I should. But I feel like an ass because I can do it, and then I'm telling them to do it. So, but I just, ill. You know, I just don't. Um, so I actually just call them up. See? I get super of a clamp. I, I say, like, oh, can you just, like, empty my bucket, please? And they're like, oh, you mean you, had, you pooped? You had a BM? Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Like, they're super casual about it. It's, like, no big deal to them, but I just, I need, it's, Look, it's my problem and I need to get over it. Um, but that's why I think my nurses are so amazing. Today I have Sharon, she is so cool. When I first got here, she got me underwear, she got me socks, she got me toothbrush and toothpaste. Today she got me a new toothbrush just cause 
you know, toothbrushes are hella cheap and I was already stretching the bristles. But she's super dope and like I can ask the nurses for as many like graham crackers and jello as I want and it's cool. Everybody comes in here wearing that mask, the duckbill mask. And everyone keeps asking if like the doctors or nurses are hot and like I think so. I don't know. <laughs> like everyone's hot from like the eyes and up so people are having good hairlines and eyes. But if they have a big nose, I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, you know, just making the best of it, come visit the, um, come visit me, you know, uh, but, or not, because I will get out, I will, <laughs> but yeah, um, join me tomorrow, because I know I'm definitely going to be here tomorrow, and I'll tell you how I got this, or what exactly is TB, um, public service announcement, go get checked, you know, that cough might not be just from a cold, it could be TB, looking out for you, Okay, because I care. Peace.